Hey guys, so you're considering or you've purchased a foil drive, awesome to have you part of the team. We're just gonna do a really quick little video talking about the uh, electric motor and the waterproofing and the servicing that it's required for years and years of fun and longevity. So to get such a small, powerful package, this is a tiny little motor, there is some extra things we've had to do, so. Correct, so this is an outrunner, so the outside of the motor spins and that gives you massive amounts of torque to allow you to get up and out of the water with such a lightweight, small package. Mm -hmm. It does require slightly different maintenance if you already own an e-foil or you've never done anything like this. This is a little bit different. This rotor comes off and allows you to wash the stator and the rotor separately and check for debris. Um, just for quick information, this motor is fully epoxy impregnated. It uses 100% ceramic ball bearings so they can't corrode on rust and we have all sorts of other coatings and protective materials to try and make these things as hardy as they can for the saltwater environment. Yeah. And we're gonna show you how to flush them, wash them and maintain them just so that they can continue to run for many years yeah. and give you a, just a real quick breakdown of what's expected from you guys after you use your gear. If you wanna know more about the electric motor and its design, its ethos and why we went with this particular design and yeah. all that kind of stuff and more information about all these coatings, there's a heaps longer uh, tech talk video with Paul and I yep. going through absolutely everything you need to know about these motors. So go check out that video if you want some more detail. But here's just a really quick, after every use, using some very basic, simple products that are available globally uh, on how to yeah maintain your motor and, and keep it running really smooth and, and clean for years and years of four wheel drive fun. So. so just like your four gear, maintain your stuff and it'll look after you. Yep. Cool, all right, let's go show them how to clean it. Easy. All right, so you've just finished using your foil drive, which is the most important thing, having fun on it. Now we just gotta wash it and maintain it. So this motor is installed on our integrated mast system. It's exactly the same process if you have a, new, a the different pod with the external cable. You wanna grab the spinning part, which is the rotor, hand on the mast, and try and pull it as straight as you can so that it comes off. If you're pulling it with any sort of angle of attack, it won't come off because it's just too aggressive and tight, you need to pull it nice and straight. So now you've got the stator and the rotor apart. You wanna wash your gear down. So just with a basic hose, fresh water rinse. I'm gonna rinse inside the rotor. And I'm also just gonna check inside here to make sure that there's no debris, like metallic bits of metal or anything that's sticking to the magnets. You just want to make sure, run your finger around on the inside. Yep, smooth as silk. I've washed it out with fresh water. For the sake of a video, I'm not going to sit here doing it for ages, but you might want to wash that out for a good minute. And then the actual stator, same thing. Wash the outside in the bearing hole, up and underneath. Wash my pod, but again, Give it a good rinse, fresh water. Give it a, be a bit more methodical when you're doing it, but for video, we're just trying to speed it up a bit. We've got the WD-40 protecting sealant. Before you spray that on, you wanna get it any old rag or towel or whatever, and we wanna dry each component off. So we're drying the stator here, which is the thing in the middle. Again, now this is black painted, epoxy coated, solid thing, it doesn't spin. You will over time start to see little scratches and little nicks and bits and pieces, that's okay. But we wanna dry it, get it nice and dry with this towel. Same for the rotor, I wanna dry the outside quickly. Dry the blades. And on the inside is the most important part. You wanna get the rag in here and just go around like that. That gets the water out from the inside where the magnets are. So now it's nice and dry. Now for the preventative maintenance with this WD-40 lanolin and stuff, I just give it a, helps to put the towel here so you don't spray it all over your board. Just give it a little on the stator. That's it, that's all you need, you don't need much. And for the rotor, I just give it a little spray on the shaft. And just a little 
touch up on the magnets. That's it. You don't need a huge amount. It's just to give it a little thin coating. I would then leave these two parts separate. I normally put this back in my beer stubby holder because it's nice and foam and protective. But again, just leave them somewhere place to dry. You can put it back together if you want for storage and it's easy to move around with. It's up to you. The fact that you've washed it and put your protective coatings on it is 99% of the battle. I personally, when I'm traveling, I put the rotor back on because I know where it is, I'm not gonna lose it, but it would be best to just let them both sit there and dry. And that's it. If you do that, you'll be sweet for many, many, many years of use and your system will appreciate it. So have fun, treat your gear with respect.